So does your family know what you do? And if so, how have they handled the publicity? Yeah, so they know. I was always going to tell them, but I'd only been in the industry, I think, a few weeks, and someone leaked like a video to them. Mm -hmm. And at that point, once you've seen your daughter from that many angles, like there was no denying it was me. <laughs> I was like, mom, that was me in that video. <laughs> and he was shocked. Um, Cause like I said, my background was very corporate. It's very reserved. So it was never, you never would have thought I would have sort of taken the step into OnlyFans and porn, but they absolutely love it now. They want to be in TikToks all the time. Really? Always, yeah. Were you surprised um, by that reaction or? My family's always been supportive. Mm -hmm. They adore me and like most parents, they just want me to be happy. Mm -hmm. And they could see the shift of how happy I was when I left, you know, working in an office job, being restricted to now traveling and living the most, for me, the most beautiful life. And they just want to support that. Do you know what I mean, they perhaps sort of chose, chose this industry if they could, but when they see the benefits and how much fun I have, how could they not sort of be happy for me? Yeah, I mean, look, I don't think any parent or family member ever you know, like wishes that their child got into the sex industry just because we don't, we're like, you know, not comfortable seeing family yeah. members in a sexual way, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just like how we're all They thought I'd been programmed. forced into it to start with. They was like, if someone asked you to go into this, are you yeah. in trouble for money or something? Like, has something happened? It's like, no, you don't have to have troubled background or have some sort of issue to want to get into the sex industry. Mm -hmm. You just have to be somebody who maybe enjoys sex and yeah. likes being an exhibitionist. Yeah, or everyone thinks you've got daddy issues. Everyone's yeah. like, God, your dad not, must not be in your life. Or God, like on the hate comments, it's like, oh, dads, please stay in your daughter's life. It's like, mm -hmm. my dad is in my life completely. Like, mm -hmm. you do not need daddy issues to fuck on camera. Like, <laughs> you can be completely normal. Yeah. I see that a lot. Like, oh, her, you know, her her daddy must be proud. Her mm -hmm. father must be proud. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's always just kind of like a yeah like my dad is so proud like obviously he doesn't watch any of the videos but like yeah. any news articles he still has a look like he gets them all printed out <laughs> anything i could do like my photo shoots that aren't naked they've got them all around the house yeah. and yeah. it was funny because i did a scene with kieran recently oh okay and kieran's originally from derby and so yeah. my dad and they sort of had a similar background. So I was like, I said to Karen, I was like, you might actually know my dad. So I phoned my dad after the scene. I'd still got Karen's come on my face at this <laughs> point. I'm like, dad, I'm just with Karen. He's, he's like, he lives in Derby and he supports Derby. And my dad's also like a massive Derby football fan. Yeah. I was and them two were just that. having a chit chat, like getting carried away on the phone. Yeah. Um, and Karen was like, yeah, you know, probably see you around at some point. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It's so, so my ex-husband, like I told you, was from Nottingham yeah. and him and Karen used to always like bust each other's balls about football yeah for yeah, sure you guys are like very devoted to your to your football, oh, football, football fans yeah <laughs> and then it was funny because i was sat at the um having family dinner later that day just filmed with kieran and i was like oh, i need to put something on instagram and my dad was like, I says, but I want to do something about football. And my dad said, oh, caption it, you've just been rammed. Because <laughs> like Darby, the Derby County also classed himself as rams. Yeah. And my dad was like, yeah, say so you've just been rammed. 